Hi everyone, I hope everybody's well. Um, I'm sorry some of you couldn't make it to our spring open house, obviously with last year and this year with COVID, but hopefully uh, we'll be back on track for our Christmas holiday open house and of course spring in 2022. But anyway, so um, obviously today we've had our open house and I decided to do a little live like we did at the Christmas one as well, just for those who weren't able to make it to um, obviously show you what I'd been demonstrating during the day. So anyway, so uh, lots of some fun new products. I'm going to talk about those as we go through the um, the products. And uh, as I said, if you have any uh, questions, you know, you can obviously email customer service at nicholaslodge.com. Um, also, we are offering a, um, I have all that this information on the link, but we do have a discount code when you check out if you're going to order anything online um, and use the code and then uh, you'll get 10% off your order. All right, that also includes the sale items as well. Um, and then we also do have, I'm going to talk at the end of this live about a couple of brand new products we have coming out. One of them is a, this is a little sort of pre-taster uh, of it, but one of them is a new uh, Flower Pro product. One is a Katie Sue product. They don't launch until the 23rd, which is Tuesday. Um, so if you are ordering those, we will ship the order out on Tuesday. All right. We normally, our customer service, we like to get things out as soon as possible, but obviously the, uh, the official launch date is the 23rd. So they will be shipped out on the, um, on the 23rd. Okay. If you add those to your, uh, to your cart, your shopping cart. Um, so anyway, so, uh, going to talk about a few new things. So first of all, there's a really cute, uh, new Katie Sue mold, which I've been showing today, which is the new, uh, Easter bunny. All right. So this is the Easter bunny mold and, uh, the mold has, uh, obviously the bunny and it has his ears. Um, and then you've got two sizes of eggs, plus also some, some adorable little flowers on the top here as well. And uh, with the Easter Bunny, he's $16.99, all right? So remember, that's a Katie Sue product. So that and the eggs I'm gonna talk about, and a couple of the other things like the pandas and the citrus slice, you'll find those on the website. If you just go on to shop and then categories, just go down, scroll down to Katie Sue, and you'll find those there. But also if you just put type in like Easter Bunny or eggs or uh, panda, they're gonna come up as well. But anyway, so this is a little bunny. Um, and the little bunny is really, really cute and uh, he has as I said, you've got your components here. Now I've done two uh, variations. This first one is uh, would be done as a cake, um, or potentially you could also do this as sort of a half cake, cake and some Rice Krispies. Um, and uh, there's lots of different ways to do that. You can buy egg cake pans, all right? But what I've done is I base both of mine on using an egg. So this is just an egg from the Dollar Tree, all right? So Dollar Tree have these in at the moment. And so what I actually did there is, so there's two ways to make a cake. All right. The first is obviously to use a cake pan or obviously to do a, like for example, couple of quarter sheet pans and sculpt the shape of the egg. And then another way you can actually do an egg like an egg shaped cake is you can actually line that with plastic wrap. So just put some cling film in the bottom of it. So the plastic wrap comes over the top. And then what you can actually do is you can pipe some, uh, you know, put some buttercream in there, spread buttercream on top of the plastic wrap. And then you can put like almost a bit like how we do cake pops. You could do pieces of cake. Um, you could build up layers of cake, or you could also do some cake and some Rice Krispies. All right. So you could do like a layer of Rice Krispies, just doing like a sort of a farine or a trifle layer of Rice Krispies and then a layer of cake. And then you can pop that in the freezer. All right, and then once it's frozen, you just would pull it out, take the plastic wrap off, and you're gonna have basically like an egg shape, all right? So then that one I covered with uh, fondant. Now we do have the Renshaw yellow fondant on sale. Um, so again, you'll find that in the sale area, but we have that for $2 a pack instead of $4. Um, and I just use some yellow and white, which also the white, the 2.2 pound we have on sale as well. So check out the sale area. Remember your 10% discount is on that as well. Now, those of you that are blank, obviously Atlanta local who are watching this live, you can also order online. And then when you come to check out, um, if you want to come and pick it up, you can just put pick up and then uh, Scott will call you once your order's ready and then you can come by. Um, and obviously let us know when you're going to be coming by to pick up your items. Or if you want to come in and shop, okay, next week, again, you're welcome. Remember, I do have sort of live schedules, so like don't just show up, but if you just call us at 770-453-4449, sorry, I forgot my number. Yeah, 
So 453-9449, okay? Sorry, um, it's weird how you sort of suddenly forget a phone number. But um, I, anyway, so, um, but uh, you can call the store and then, as I said, uh, if you want to come by and shop, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday or whatever, um, as I said, just let us know when you're coming by because I do have filming scheduled next week. The other thing is uh, next week we do start on next Friday, the 26th. We do start a five day like boot camp. So what I'm doing is, um, we have actually a couple coming down from New York who wanted a five day, sort of like a little bit of fondant, a little bit of royal ice, a little bit of sugar flowers. So really what it is, is gonna be a sort of a part of the uh, the key elements of my Renshaw uh, nine day masterclass put into a five day class, okay? So it starts next on the 26th through the 30th and we do have two spaces left on that. Um, and uh, so if you are interested in that, just like obviously let it give us a call and then register. But as I said, there's only two spaces left on it and that starts on the 26th. There is information on nicholaslodge.com, just click on classes. Um, also on April the 10th, we do have um, on the 10th, I am teaching my popular air drying clay class. So this is the uh, spray you'll be making. So this is obviously the one day class, it's from nine till six and you'll learn how to make these all in air drying clay, which is a sort of, a, can be like keepsakes for wedding cakes and we can use air drying uh, clay flowers on wedding cakes and things, but it's great for your customers because they'll be able to keep the flowers afterwards. So you will learn all of this, so you'll go home at the end of it with this beautiful spray, and that's on April the 10th. So both of those items are on, on the classes. Anyway, so once you, um, so cover that over with fondant, and then uh, with the mold, um, what it is, I took some modified fondant. And again, a lot of you are probably watching this have been to classes or to uh, obviously lives and uh, to uh, open houses before. But all I did is I took some white Renshaw fondant, modified it with Thai loaves, uh, recipe is again under recipes and templates. So if you go to nicholaslodge.com, uh, click on recipes and templates, you'll see modifying fondant. But basically you take a 115 grams, which is four ounces of uh, rolled fondant, a quarter of a teaspoon of Thai loaves, a quarter of a teaspoon of vegetable shortening, mix it together, it firms it up. So what I do is I pack the, I pack this into the mold. Now because the bunny's ears are elevated, um, just sort of bend it up a little bit like this, all right, so they're actually elevated. What I did is when I did the bunny's ears, I filled the mold up and I just took a piece of spaghetti. So I just took a little piece of spaghetti and pushed just in the back of the ear here and here. So actually on the square part there and there. So you just put the spaghetti in just a little ways in and then um, you take them out and then I just bent one of the ears over. I just dried them in some convoluted foam. And then once I uh, dried, once I t uh, the bunny had dried, so then I made uh, two holes in the top of his head and then I inserted the ears into there and then I just used some uh, white gel and pink gel mixed together to paint his ears. I also used the, uh, so let's get my little finger here. I used a little bit of pink to paint his nose, a little bit of pink dust for his cheeks, and I will be posting photographs of all these. You'll have these for reference. A little bit of white gel for it, and I just used a little bit of gray, uh, gray pro gel with some vodka. His eyes, I actually made those from black pearls and just put a white dot on the top of them. And then these are the little flowers. So these little flowers I just made in gum paste. So I did some forget-me-nots, little daisies, and little daffodils. The little daffodils there, I painted just some orange in the middle of them. And then the forget-me-nots and the daisies, um, I've used my little um, pickup tool before a lot. You know, this is uh, obviously a product that we have, um, and we've used this in open houses where you put wax on it, and so you pick up the little pearls, uh, and then you take the little pearl and then put that in with a little dot of piping joe into the middle of the flowers. And then also the little eggs, uh, you can see that there's two sizes of eggs, a larger striped one, a plain one, and again, I just used um, obviously white gel with a little bit of pink gel, white gel, a little bit of blue gel in there to do the little dots. And then, um, so that's the bunny, all right? And um, it's really, really cute. And as obviously you've got all of those things on there. Um, I was also chatting to my friend Chrissy Boone in Canada and decided this could also be made into a beaver as well. So if you used brown and then you did like shorter ears, you could obviously, because you've got almost these little teeth, so it actually, the facially wise, you could easily make a little. So if you ever have to make a little beaver for a cake, that's a, a cute mold to use for it. But anyway, so um, a really, really nice mold. And um, so that's the, that's going to be that one. And then also on the on the cake I've used just to show you the three sizes. These are the, um, the new Katie Sue egg mold, all right? So this is the egg mold here. Uh, this is $12.99, okay? And uh, this has got three sizes of eggs. 
And uh, again, you can make all different types of eggs with this. And just like making my pine cones and things, you can make three dimensional. So you can make one half, let it dry and make the second half, okay? And uh, the eggs, there are three sizes. I've used a small one down on the bow there. Also with this, I just used, again, just was a, you know, $90 plate from the dollar store. So because when you're doing things like that, for a customer I use an inexpensive platter um, and uh, so and then I use the multi-ribbon cutter around the bottom of it so the sort of the base of the the base of that I use just the multi-ribbon cutter and I made like a little bow there um, but you could finish that off with piping in buttercream or all different other things um, and then I built up some grass I did the grass out of green fondant so I just made like a little mound I textured it with my little texture mats which I've done on a lot of my open houses and videos and then just used a, uh, a veining tool, Dresden tool, just to pull the grass up. And I sort of stuck it on so it sort of creates this mound, all right? So again, you can sort of see from, um, from front camera, you can sort of see behind the, so you can see sort of behind. So I sort of, so it actually elevates him up, all right? Now, of course, if you're gonna put him flat on the cake or onto an egg, you don't have to put the spaghetti in the ears because of course you just attach those separately. And then what I've done there is on the uh, Easter eggs, I did uh, these in uh, chocolate, okay? And I'm gonna talk about chocolate in a moment with the other egg, but I've um, I'd used just dark chocolate in here, um, pop those in the fridge and then uh, obviously pop them out. And I painted those. Again, I used the white gel with yellow, white gel with blue, white gel with green uh, to obviously paint there the Happy Easter and then the little small egg here. But just gives you some ideas, you know, it's just some fun, fun ideas for, for Easter time. Remember, there will be some nice photographs on there as well. Now, at the moment, there's a big, um, you know, like things going trends. So a big trend at the moment is like pinata eggs and pinata bunnies and pinata hearts for Valentine's Day. So this would be a, um, this is a chocolate egg, all right? So this was done with white chocolate, uh, which obviously I used some pink cocoa butter color, oil-based coloring in there. And then um, the idea is, is you'd put uh, candy inside the egg. So you can basically just put candy on the dish and cover it with the egg. Um, and then these are like wooden mallets. You can find these on um, Amazon. If you just put like small wooden mallet or small wooden hammer, um, they're very inexpensive, like 70 cent, five, 50 to 75 cents each. And uh, the idea is, is this would be like a smash, a smash pinata uh, egg, which is, you know, that's very trendy at the moment. And so then, you know, you can put some candy and sprinkles and stuff on the plate. This particular, um, as I said, is a charger. Again, I got this actually at um, Hobby Lobby. Um, so it was like $2. And then, of course, you know, they always have 40% off things. So, but I thought it was nice for Easter being sort of like lacy looking. But here, you have the bunny and so and then I did a little smash me sign on him um, and again I've got the little eggs here this bunny I actually did in dark chocolate as well just like the eggs so I just filled this up I put some dark chocolate melted chocolate in um, a piping bag just filled it up level filled the ears up pop it in the fridge all right and remember you can also just pop it in the freezer for a couple of minutes before you take it out just to sort of contract the chocolate but took that out now because the katie sue molds are not real shiny you know like when we do a lot of chocolate work we use like shiny molds um, because actually i use this to to make the egg part in all right so i use this for the top of the egg and of course you're going to get a nice shine from plastic or candy mold plastic materials but this is more of a dull silicone so what i found worked really well is when you when you when i took the bunny out all i did is i took just a little bit of vegetable fat some shortening and then i just brushed over him like that and so what that does the vegetable fat will just give him like a little shine all right so you just use could use also like a solid coconut oil as well for that um and um but very cute and then you know the idea is you give this you know obviously a client or give it to friends and family or whatever and then they just would whack it and obviously smash this like a pinata and obviously you'd have all the candy the easter candy inside so anyway so just to give you some ideas um obviously and this you could do from wafer paper or from gum paste a little sign on there and uh, but adorable for obviously ideas for easter okay so for you know family or as i said to sell to customers as well so that's the easter bunny and the egg um also with like the egg mold i found that you can also do for example like here 
So you can actually just take some Rice Krispie treats and if you just make them into a basic egg shape. So I just put, actually this is modeling chocolate. So I just colored some modeling chocolate because it's gonna taste really yummy. Um, pale mint green color modeling chocolate. And then all I did there is I just pushed the modeling chocolate in there and then pushed this into the inside of it. And again, just popped it in the freezer um, because modeling chocolate, you know, is unlike obviously modified fondant or gum paste. You just wanna freeze it for a few minutes and that'll make it easier to get out. But I also thought this would be really cute to use like on cupcakes um, or other different types of little things for, for Easter time. Okay, and of course, if you wanted to make a three-dimensional one, you could make the other half of this as well. And then you just can stick the two together to make us almost like a life-size chicken egg. And you've got, so this is actually about two and a half inches. This is two inches. This is, sorry, this is two inches. This is one and a half inches. This is one inch, okay? So, um, but as I said, it makes a nice, a nice shaped egg. So those are the, um, it's the egg mold and the bunny rabbit mold. And I just want to show you a few photographs. Now, these photographs are all from, um, from Katie Sue design team members. So we're just gonna come in with the camera here. But you can see here, now these, will all, these are all on Katie Sue's website. So you can see these all. But this is just done by Samantha, one of the, she did a really cute, like you can see how this is like a moss uh, covered cake. And then she's done the eggs there, three dimensional eggs, half relief eggs. So again, just giving you some ideas for Easter. This was done by another a design team member. So you can see how you've got the bunnies in here. She actually used my, um, my bamboo mold here. You've got, they've got that. Um, this is another one here. So this is actually an Easter basket. And again, you see chocolate egg, and then you can actually cover that, or you could paint it gold to look like a gold foil egg, you know, like a foil covered egg. And again, you can see here the eggs in the basket, the three dimensional eggs in the basket. Um, this is another one here. So you can see this is done by Jack Keith, but again, the nice sort of Easter basket themed with the bunny there. Um, and then this just shows you the ears, you see. So those were like the ears. So you just push the um, spaghetti in there while it's in the mold and then when you pop it out. And don't worry if you see this, this a little bit because it's gonna be painted over pink anyway. And of course you could do the, the bunny in brown as well. Um, then there's also some other bunnies here. So this is a really cute one. This is done by Sarah Harris, like a carrot. Um, this one here was done by Alex. He's one of our design team that lives in Australia, but he did like an Easter bunny painting egg workshop cake but again you can see the bunnies so you know you could do them with little bows on them you can pose them in different ways here um, this is another one done by sarah so she did like a bunny and a tree um, and it's again sort of just gives you ideas um, another one here where you've got the eggs so like with the trend of drip cakes and things like that at the moment you know naked cakes you know this would be perfect to have a little bunny just on a naked cake there um, this was thought was really cute. This is actually was done by Lisa, but she made like a chicken coop. So she actually used the eggs for the chicken bodies and then made the heads freehand. So it just gives you ideas. Um, so there's another, another one. I think that's all the bunny ones. All right, so those are, those are some uh, new ones. And then there's also um, some other new Katie Sue molds. Now um, I'll talk about my bamboo in a second, but when I introduced my bamboo mold a few weeks ago, which some of you may not have seen, this is my new bamboo mold, but I'll talk about that in a moment. But this is a new panda mold. And um, so this panda is really adorable and you can see you can do him. And he also comes with a little small piece of bamboo. So you can make him, this is what he would look like before you dust and paint him. All right, so you just would, uh, Obviously that would be the panda. You can use like black dusting powder and then some black gel color to paint him. But also you can make a really adorable teddy bear for that. So like for example, for a baby shower, first birthday, any of those type of things, if you do it in like a teddy bear brown, this is just some, um, I use some uh, like a gold color and a little bit of brown and a little bit of yellow in there. So just get that almost like honey color. Um, but again, you know, you can sort of obviously do the, do the teddy bears as well as the panda. So that's another new product uh, from Katie Sue, which obviously complements that. And um, that's $14.99, okay? And I meant to have said the eggs are, um, the egg mold is $12.99, okay? So anyway, so that's the, that's the, uh, the panda. And then this is another, another new one that just Katie Sue has just done, which is a citrus mold, all right? So obviously on my winter spice mold, I have just a citrus slice, but this actually gives almost like a half relief uh, citrus fruit. You have a slice and then you also have a segment as well. So this is, of course, this shows like a naked cake, like if you did say a lemon cake uh, with a lemon drizzle on it, you could make some of these to go on it, but also with like cocktail themes, you know, pool parties, things like that. You could do obviously lemons, limes, you know, for Cinco de Mayo and things like that for a very, very cute, uh, cute mold. 
Um, that's $14.99. And sort of this just shows you like the lemons that it makes, all right? So you can do the, the uh, sort of like almost the three-dimensional lemon and you've got like the lemon slice, okay? Uh, but you could do oranges, you could do lemons, you could do like a citrus theme. Um, and that is, as I said, is the uh, citrus mold. So those are, um, as I said, uh, new ones. So the panda bear and then the, uh, the uh, citrus fruit one. And then earlier, um, a few couple of weeks ago, I launched the bamboo. So this is my, um, as I said, Flower Pro bamboo. So the Flower Pro bamboo um, has, um, obviously, uh, with all my Flower Pro, you have also video assisted on here. So uh, in the package in there, so you just go to flower, to kittysudesigns.com forward slash Flower Pro. All right. And um, so, but anyway, so you're just gonna um, go to there and you're, there's actually two videos I did on the bamboo. So one of them is this, shows how to use bamboo um, on a cake. So what I've done is here on the side of this cake there, which you can sort of see in the front camera as well, but uh, you, I show how to, on that first video, how to do the bamboo like on the sides of cakes. Um, also I've done it on the cake boards. You can see around the cake board as well. Um, so I show how to do the bamboo uh, like that. I also show how to use bamboo on, um, for like, you know, cupcakes and cookies and things. Um, um, on that one, I also, talk about you know like uh, making like lucky bamboo and uh, purse handles and di all different other things so that's actually the second video and then the first video shows how to make realistic bamboo so this is um, an arrangement I've just done with my uh, Flower Pro Ultimate Members Club uh, they're working on this at the moment and uh, so in the first video I show how to make realistic bamboo so I show how to make the bamboo uh, when you're doing this for sugar flowers you know for like for example a tiki themed uh, you know party pool party themed you know like when you think about all of those type of things so that's on the first one and I use my wedding foliage uh, for the leaves of that so you can watch the full video of how to use the bamboo um, on um, obviously from realistic bamboo and in the second video I show how to to use uh, has said how to do bamboo on cake boards on cake sides and things like that and also in the course of the videos I show how to to uh, make different you know like this is like dried bamboo I have on the uh, cake board so that would be like to look like almost like rattan furniture okay so I show how to do that effect and I show how to make like realistic bamboo so if you have bamboo going in your garden you went and pick some this is sort of the color it will be and of course like we have green bamboo which is just a different variety which is what like the lucky bamboo plants we have and things like that are like a green bamboo so it's a you know really versatile mold and uh, again just to give you some examples here uh, of the design team have done. Just to come in with my, oh, there we go. There we go, it's better. Can we come in a little tiny bit, Scott? Oh, thank you. All right, so here you've got the bamboo there. And um, then you've got, this was done um, by Susan, who's down in Florida. But this is, Susan did Lucky Bamboo, and then she's got Dendrobium orchids here. Uh, here, wedding cake done by Chrissy Boone in Canada. And so Chrissy's used the bamboo. Just gives you ideas of how to use it. This is done by Larifa. And again, you can see how she's done like a bamboo, like bas relief type, like concrete, which is very trendy at the moment. And then bamboo here. Um, another beautiful design taken by Sadie May Cakes in the UK, but very sort of almost like a eucalyptus color bamboo. This is taken from obviously like Japanese kimono and a painting, but very sort of soft pastel colors. Um, See here, very nice way to use the bamboo. Here, Veronica said I'd use gold, and I show how to do actually metallic bamboo in the in that as well. Um, oh, here's another one. So that's another one uh, by Dawn. So she actually these, of course, some of these projects are in for craft in air drying clay, but like a wall hanging with bamboo on it here. Again, Heather did this really cute frame. So again, you could just go to Michael's, buy a basic frame using air drying clay or polymer clay as you could make the bamboo and then the bamboo. And then of course you can see the panda here, okay? Again, this is done a uh, purse. So again, the bamboo handle there is done by, by that. So I'm just gonna go to the, here. And these just show some other bamboos. So like an engagement cake, a Valentine cake with a green bamboo here. Again, uh, one of our members, so this would be like a, you know, like a cake part here and then the lucky bamboo and the bamboo, uh, the panda here. This is again done by Alex, so he did. And uh, some of you came to our holiday open house where we had the panda set, the little baby panda. Alex actually used the panda, sorry, the baby polar bear. Um, Alex used the polar bear head, the baby polar bear head to make the little panda slippers. So really, really cute, you know, 
um, ideas there. Oh, here's another one here, like a boat with, done with bamboo, and then obviously the pandas here, just to give you some ideas. Remember, these are all on the Katie Sue um, website and that, so you'll sort of see those. And then here, um, there's a really cute one again, you can see like bamboo and the pandas, so painting, and then obviously my bamboo mold. So very, very cute um, ideas here shows the, band, the panda bear. So, you know, you can sort of paint these in different colors. Remember, teddy bears, and it also means you could do those as like care bears and different other things as well. So there's lots of sort of scope there um, for, the, for the panda bear. And uh, obviously my bamboo uh, mold. But remember, those, those are their full tutorials, obviously, on all of my Flower Pro items, okay? Um, and then, again, those of you that have come to, uh, have been to our open house, when we did the Christmas open house, I, I, we had, um, last year I introduced the medium log slice and the large log slice molds, all right? So these, these molds here are, um, so this is the medium size log slice which makes this size, which is like basically five inch for the top of a cake. And then we also introduced this large one, and now they're again, there are full videos on those on the uh, katiesuedesigns.com forward slash flower pro. So this one we use like almost is like done in three pieces on your model in chocolate to make, and you can make this as big as you as you need to, because you can come out as well as I show on the videos. Um, so those are the, uh, the large and the medium, and there are, as I said, full videos for those. And then a couple of weeks ago, we launched um, the small log slice, which is this size one here. All right, and this, is, this was designed originally um, for Cookie Con in April in Dallas, which unfortunately has been uh, obviously postponed until the fall. Uh, because of obviously still lockdown in some areas and COVID and things. But um, this small one, um, I designed this to be used on a cookie. So you can use this obviously on a cookie. And of course you could decorate this in lots of different ways. But also when you do, um, for example, like rustic um, type cake. So this is again was done by one of our design team members here, uh, Dawn. So, you know, when you think about semi-naked, naked cakes, you know, rustic cakes. So you can actually take your so what you do there is if you watch the video for the medium one, so what I did is I did this actually in modeling chocolate. So I pushed my modeling chocolate in there, and then while it was in there, I put a bamboo skewer in. Again, um, I just popped this in the freezer because the modeling chocolate, you know, is a little bit more heat sensitive, popped it out. And then I literally just took my, um, my veining tool, my Dresden veining tool, and just like carved into there. So, you know, like you could then, of course, like you could do Mr. and Mrs. or whatever combination you wanted or needed, um, and then just let those dry for a couple of days. And then of course they could just sit into the top of the cake. And of course that could actually be cut and served because modeling chocolate tastes really yummy. Alternatively, you could do these with modified fondant. Um, but on the, um, on the video that I show with this, if you haven't watched that video, what I actually do there is you can take, there's two ways to do it. You can either do it like this one, where you just do like an ivory color and then using dusting powders and paints. And then on this one here and this one here, what you actually do is take gel color or brown powder color with vodka and you paint into here, think of it a bit like a, an embossing, and then you press the paste in and that gives you the sort of brown line. So it's a quicker way of doing it and just paint the edge of that. So those marks were actually done like almost like an embosser. And then I just added the brown on the outside of this. But you could do this a bit more like a silver birch color. But I thought that would be really cute for, as I said, for a, a you know, semi-naked naked cake. You could do, obviously, also now with all the different stamps and things, you could do happy birthday there or an initial uh, on there as well. So those are, um, as I said, just, just to sort of keep you up to date. Because a lot of the time when we do our open house, it's, it's also about like the new products that we have um, available. So those are, um, as I said, some of the, the new uh, products. Now on uh, Tuesday, on the 23rd, we have two brand new molds launching. And as I said, if you're ordering these, um, you can go ahead and put them into your shopping cart, but we will, won't be able to ship till Tuesday, all right? Normally we would ship out on Monday, but as I said, we'll ship these out because it's the official launch day um, of this. And we base this open house, which is normally a week earlier around the launch of this. So this is my new, um, this is my new Flower Pro Blossoms mold. Um, and so this mold will actually uh, use to make, as you see, all the different spring blossoms on here. 
And there are three videos, so again, where my all my Flower Pro videos, which is katysuedesigns.com and then forward slash Flower Pro. Um, and on all the packaging, it's got obviously that information there. But this has got like a full uh, tutorial there. But there also are three videos that go with this. All right, and uh, so the video, so the first video shows how to make the cherry blossoms. Okay, remember these are all free to access. So the first one shows how to make two different varieties of stamens using stamens, using cotton thread, and also even with fishing filament. And then how to make the cherry, how to make the buds, how to make the calyx, how to make the leaf. So that's in the first video. The second video shows how to make prunus, which is double flowering cherry which would be the one I have on the cake here. So that shows in the second video how I do the double flowering cherry and uh, on the second video. And then also in that second video, I show how to do the coloring and then how I made this branch to do on a wedding cake. So how I actually attach it to the cake and everything. And then also how I do the cherry, the single cherry, how I used, how I create the colors for that and uh, decorate, you know, how to color it and finish it off. And then the second video I have, so that's the second video, and then the third video I have, I show, um, so the three videos that go with the blossoms, I show how to make um, apple blossom. Now apple blossom is obviously very similar to the Bradford pears we have thousands of here in Atlanta at the moment. Um, and uh, so, you know, apple blossoms, peach blossoms, they're all very similar. And then also on that video, I show how to make peach blossoms, which obviously, you know, here in Georgia, our state, uh, Georgia peach state. So, but here we have peach blossoms, again, very pretty. And they're very similar to almond blossoms as well. And then also like in my ultimate members club, um, the project they're working on, um, as I said, at the moment, they are making plum blossoms. So this is the Ume, the plum and uh, here you can see how we make the, the plum blossoms, all right? So really beautiful mold, very versatile. And we will be using this in my Flower Pro Ultimate Members Club for upcoming um, episodes. We're gonna be doing like uh, delphiniums. We'll be using this one. But it's a very useful mold set. And it's got like, it's got um, like three round buds and it's got three elongated buds. So you see those are like the elongated ones. And then like on the cherry, those are the more round ones, you see? But also the, the leaves are very useful as well and um, they can be uh, they can be used in as I said different uh, different ways uh, there to uh, to do that um, so but you can use this also for primula and different other leaves and little calyxes and buds and this comes with a back venus so this is actually used for the back of this and then this is used for the back of the leaves and you'll see me use this on all the videos all right and that that um, that mold is uh, $24.99, and I said, but this one and then the last one I'm gonna talk about, those will be shipped out. We'll start shipping those out on, because the worldwide launch is on Tuesday, okay, on the 23rd. It's only a couple of days to wait. Um, and also like the bamboo, um, when I did with my Ultimate Members Club, I used, uh, you know, like we made bamboo containers as well. Um, so you can use the bamboo in all sorts of applications um, for that. And uh, so that's the, and then, other thing you can use the blossoms mold for would be like, for example, for cookies. So if you were going to, you can make little cookies, like you can do, cut, like we just obviously press the paste in the mold. This is gum paste. And then I use little uh, yellow nonpareils in the center. I painted the calyx on some little uh, painted buds. And then I've just done a little leaf in there as well. So for cookies, for cupcakes, you know, different types of designs on cakes, on cake boards, uh, that was a really, really pretty mold uh, to use for uh, lots of different applications there. And then the final, um, final mold I want to talk about is going to be, this is a brand new, so this is called, this is the measuring mold, all right? So this comes with, uh, the measuring mold comes with the mold, with the chart, and also with the little flexi scraper here. And what this is, this is the, um, what's in the actual set here, all right? So this is your three parts that come with this. So this was um, designed as really a multifunctional mold for measuring, like for example, if you do figure modeling, um, or you could, uh, if you do sort of crafts or things like that, you could use this to make half balls, to make snowman's bodies. You could make obviously three dimensional balls to use uh, for flower centers and things as well. Um, but also it could be used for figure modeling. Like uh, if for example, you're an instructor and you teach figure modeling, you know, you could say you're gonna use a number one for the head or for the body. And then you're like a number seven, four for the, ear, uh, for the head 
and number two number eights for the ears you know so you could use this in that sort of type of measuring but also um, I developed this product to use as a um, for a color chart for working with the air drying clay so for example when I teach this class on April the 10th all right so when I teach that class up until now um, I would have to just sort of like look like most of us are doing cake we take a little bit of this you put some color in you think oh no I need a little bit more yellow or a little bit more blue or whatever um, but this chart this enables you to get these perfect colors um, and the air drying clay which we carry here as well so you know the air drying clay comes in these nine colors all right so there's obviously these colors the red pink orange yellow blue black dark brown dark green and green and then there's obviously the 200 gram uh, pack of white so remember it's very very lightweight because this only weighs this basically just weighs um, just over an ounce all right so it's very very lightweight but these are wonderful um, to use on wedding cakes because you can sell these as like a keepsake flower um, so your customer can just take them off of their like naked cake and then use these and in some of our open houses I've shown doing things like my antler mold because to make that in sugar they're going to weigh like half a pound each whereas if you make them in air drying clay they weigh less than two ounces so it's about a quarter of the amount of weight but um, so anyway so these are the different colors colors but this color chart is actually the measuring mold it was developed so you can make this shows your various like ombre effects all right so using the colors so you see how this shows uh, for example goes starts on the red then the magenta the orange the yellow the blue now again there's a whole there's a, a two new videos again coming out today as well uh, sorry on a Tuesday on the 23rd when this launches and the other two videos is, so there's actually five new videos to watch three on the blossoms and then two on using the um, air drying clay measuring mold so I have a full tutorial on really how to use this and then also the other um, video there is really fundamentals of air drying clay so if you'd like to know a little bit more about that obviously one option is to come on the hands-on class because that's a great experience but if you it's not possible you know you can watch the fundamentals on air drying clay and it's something I show how to use the air drying clay how to store it little tips about using it and things like that um, and uh, so those both launch on Tuesday but this shows your various color gradients um, in for example using red so you see when you come down to like you know like some of the blushes and the peaches and the skin skin tones and things like that you've got those sort of colors and then of course you can see here you go right down to like cherry blossom pink then you've got like your peonies and obviously like your roses and then you've got your sort of hot pink colors you know so and again you can see here on the orange you go right down to like the creamy yellow colors the yellow the blue and then these show the other um, colors which is the black so that makes nice grays and then the browns and then the greens and you see again the dark green air drying clay coming down to the these colors you've got your eucalyptus and sagey sort of colors which isn't sort of really trendy at the moment and then again you've got in the green you go right down to the pale mint greens so anyway, so the idea is is that the, obviously when you watch the video so if you wanted to make let's say your roses this sort of color so you look at your chart so let's say we want to do so that means you'd use number one of white so you fill this mold up level with the white air drying clay cut that off all right and then you then make a number nine now you can also do this for sugar as well so if you just make your uh, foundation you make a base color of paste um, gum paste in those sort of colors and of course like for example the Renshaw and some of the brands we sell like the yellow so if you wanted to make this sort of color uh, rose you could just take pre-colored yellow gum paste and then you could then use a number white gum gum paste in number one and if you wanted let's say this color then you'd use a number six of the yellow and you just cut off the excess paste with this this uh, tool here um, but what it means is that you're going to match the color perfectly and if you need more just like going to home depot and buying two gallons of paint and then running out you need another gallon of paint they can match it because obviously you've got they've got the formula so these are all your formulas for the ombres for the nine colors and then this is very uh, useful for again you know for like especially when working with air drying clay because the green air drying clay is very bright okay just like when we think of cake decorating that leaf green color it's not a really very natural color and the dark green is very sort of military dark green so um, you know on their own they're not really suitable to use straight out of the pack but these are all customized colors so all these different shades of green I developed these all by using so for example like you know the eucalyptus sage and then the 
like the moss green here. So this is moss green, which this matches like, for example, like the Renshaw moss green. So you use number one of white, number two of yellow, number five of blue, and number seven of magenta. So it's just a really good way. But so you can use it for the pre-colored air drying clay that we sell, or as I said, you could use it for your pre-colored gum paste as well. All right, but it will help you with fondant and all different things. And then these are some other really nice colors like this lavender, because in the air drying clay, there isn't any purples, this beautiful purple color, and then like a burgundy, like almost like a blood red you use for roses, like a turquoise color and then a golden yellow color. Um, so that's the, um, those are the, as I said, all in there. But there's, remember, there's a video to go with this, and there's also a new video, Fundamentals of Air Drying Clay, okay? Um, and so those are some, uh, so that will keep you busy watching all of those. And uh, so, but if you do have any questions, just um, obviously, you know, this posted, so in this post on my Chef Nicholas Lodge, you know, just obviously if you have any questions or comments or can't remember the name of something, just pop it there under the comments, and then I'll obviously get back to you our uh, open house finishes at four, and then we'll be back. Um, obviously after that, I'll be able to answer your questions. So take care everybody. Um, I hope a lot of you obviously here in Georgia, we're doing pretty well, I think, on um, vaccines. And uh, Scott and I both had our first vaccine. We have our second on April the 6th. Um, so we're looking forward to getting that behind us. And uh, remember also our YouTube channel as well. So if you don't subscribe to that, if you go to our YouTube channel, remember we put new YouTubes on every week. Um, I did do a live a couple of days ago. I have a brand new paste coming out um, called Flexi Paste. And if you didn't watch that YouTube the other day, uh, just go back and um, that was uh, launched on St. Patrick's Day. Um, and uh, so just go back to Wednesday and you can watch it's a brand new paste. It's, no, we don't have it in stock at the moment. It's on its way. So probably a couple more weeks, but it's a really brand new uh, fabulous paste that you can use for flowers, but also stays flexible. So you can use it for drapes and bows and drapes down cakes and all different types of things. Um, so really fun. But as I said, uh, stay safe, everybody. Stay healthy. And uh, as I said, we look forward to hopefully seeing a lot of you at our holiday open house that live locally. Um, and until then, as I said, or obviously cake shows later on this year. Uh, sweet wishes. See you soon. Bye.